Hello, my name is Brian Lawford and I'm the Vice President here at QuoteWorks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create templates to use in Quote Valley Mobile. Quote Valley Mobile is template driven. When you log into Quote Valley for the first time, you will notice that you have no options under the new menu. So let's go ahead and log into Quote Valley. And what I'm going to do here is uh, go ahead and put in my password. And as you can see, if I minimize that, click on New, I have no templates to draw from. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into QuoteWorks itself and create a template. Okay, so here we are in QuoteWorks. If you've never created a template before, basically what it's like is creating a brand new quote. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the product lookup here and search for a server. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a template uh, for two different server options. So when you're working with a client, you may uh, want to offer two different servers that you normally work with. So we'll go ahead and select a ProLiant ML350. What we're going to do is go ahead and source that from DNH. Go ahead and append that. And then what I'm going to do now is add some accessories for this ML350. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select a DVD drive here. Let's go ahead and get pricing for that. And we'll go ahead and source it from Synex. And we're going to go ahead and select it as being optional when we add it to our quote here. And then we'll do one more option here. And we'll do a tape drive. And we'll go with this guy here. And again, we're going to leave it as optional. We're going to go ahead and, go ahead and add that to our quote. So we'll close out of there. And uh, because we're going to group these together, we'll just right click on them and convert to group. And we'll go ahead and select our name for, or the description for this group here. And as you can see down at the bottom here, that each one of these are optional here. Okay. So let's go ahead and add one more server. So that way, again, we're going to be able to give our client options. find that. So we've got our ML350 this time. We're going to go ahead and get pricing again. We'll go ahead and source it from DNH. Double click. Append. Go to accessories. And we'll go ahead and again do similar accessories here. Uh, we'll go ahead and add that DVD drive. And again we're going to flag it as optional. And we'll go ahead and add it from Synex. Scroll on down to our tape drives. Go ahead and add that. Again, as optional here. And maybe one more option because uh, maybe add a care pack in here. And close. And now we just need to group these together. Right click, convert to group. And ML350. Okay, so what we're doing is we're giving our client options between the ML330 and the ML350. So what we're going to do is we're going to display these as optional on the quote. So we're going to go ahead and highlight both of those heading lines. Edit is optional, yes. And we'll go ahead and select it as server. And we're going to set one of them as being selected here. And then, just so it, it's clear to the client, what we're going to do is insert a heading line, and we'll do Server Options. And click on OK. All right, and right now, I've got a deposit required of $100. Let's go ahead and make a percent of the document. We'll make it 50%. Click on OK. All right, so now uh, we've got our template, basically, that's ready to go. So what I'm going to do, instead of going to File Save, I'm going to do File Save as Template. And we'll call this server options. And then all we need to do is click on the checkbox here to save template to Quote Valley Mobile. Now it's uploading it. It's already done. Um, now if you already have templates in, uh, in your QuoteWorks installation, what you can do is open them up. So I'm just going to go to File Open. And in this case, um, I've got uh, a template in here called Spam and Antivirus. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to go to File and Save. And I'm just going to check the checkbox to save template to Quote Valley Mobile. 
click on OK, and now this template will be up on Quilt Valet. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like in Quilt Valet Mobile. Okay, so now that we've created templates in QuiltWorks, let's go ahead and log in to Quilt Valet Mobile again. And when we click on New, you'll see that we have our different server options. And that's how you use templates with Quilt Valet Mobile.